<laughs> Thank you for taking the time to chat today. Mm -hmm. Just want to learn a little bit more about your musical career background, dive a little deeper into, into June's musical uh, life here. That sounds good. Um, so obviously I know you play some instruments. Um, I know a little bit about your music background, but can you take us a little more detail about instruments you play, kind of how you got exposed to them? Yeah, so um, I wasn't always the most musical person. Um, you know, my mom kind of forced me to play piano when I was in Korea. Um, and I mainly played just to please her. Um, and she eventually gave up um, because I wouldn't practice. Um, and I guess I never, you know, fell deep into music until like high school um, where uh, my church needed someone to play bass. And like bass is like one of the more easier instruments to um, start uh, learning and um, started playing bass and eventually they needed someone to lead worship and so I, I learned how to sing and play guitar um, and yeah so I guess I'm pretty proficient in guitar and bass and a little bit of keyboard yeah Awesome. Um, and so you said you learned through your church mm -hmm. that you were going to play these instruments. Um, did anyone kind of show you the ropes there or were you mostly self-taught? Um, I, I learned a lot from like YouTube videos, um, but I did have friends in church who would um, they show me like the more practical side of music theory, like different inversions um, for chords and I'm playing like the root notes and little pickup notes for the bass. Um, but yeah, it was mostly through like learning by myself. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think especially um, because, you know, uh, church music's um, when you play, it's not like um, like, a, like a grand stab. It's more just chord sheets. Um, I think can expose, getting exposed to like um, what like a song structure should be. I think that kind of inspired me to explore writing my own songs, um, which I'm kind of doing right now for my senior cap. So yeah. yeah. Um, do you think that going through the process of self-teaching with music um, was a more enjoyable experience than obviously being forced to it kind of drove you away from wanting to do music. Um, do you think for you personally, you learn better in a self-taught environment or do you think if you had a more um, positive um, interest in the instrument, mm -hmm. you would also respond to like a teacher or professor teaching? Mm -hmm. If that makes sense. Yeah, um, I did gain a lot of like good understanding of music composition from taking courses here. Um, but I think like self-expression usually comes from like learning how to do things yourself uh, for the most part. Because I feel like most of the thing, musical concepts you um, learn in school, you're kind of, you know, you're learning, you're kind of borrowing from someone who discovered it. Whereas like if you self-teach, you feel like, you know, it's, it's, it's like part of that process of, um, your musical evolution, I guess. Um, so I, um, I mean, I've definitely benefited from both. Um, but I would say, yeah, I think um, kind of starting as a self-taught kind of musician can help me at least be more like comfortable uh, and more, I guess, a little more confident in, you know, my ability to like learn new musical concepts and stuff like that, yeah. Do you think that being self-taught, you're talking about self-expression. Mm -hmm. Do you think that's almost given you an edge in songwriting and making your own stuff? If you're more comfortable just messing around and doing things on your own without always having them told like, okay, this is how you do it. This yeah. is what it's supposed to be. I think not always initially. Um, I think because, um, you know, most people are kind of classically trained and they do have, you know, um, I think most people started you know with like an instructor or, or whatever um so i think 
Um, in the beginning, I was a little insecure about, oh, these people know so much more than me of a deal. But I think, again, like I, you know, I went to college and took, you know, music theory courses. And I guess I was kind of connecting of like what I learned myself with like what other people were actually doing and be like, oh, like I've been doing this the whole time. I just didn't know it was called this. So, yeah, I would say like I'm a lot more confident now. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, I know you said some of the people at your church did kind of help you along the way, mm-hmm. kind of taught you some of this stuff. Um, do you find yourself preferring to kind of solo play by yourself or did you enjoy playing in like a group setting like that? I think performing wise, I think there's there's pros and cons. Um especially um in a band setting, I think you have to negotiate more. Um, and this is just purely the performance performance mm-hmm. aspect of, you know, even like, you know, meeting on the right time, um, like kind of controlling dynamics, like who who comes in when. Um, but even in like the composition side, I feel like most of my songs are pretty like personal, um, especially the lyrics. And I, you know, there are benefits to collaboration, but I feel like I'm not too used to like negotiating in composition and I don't have, you know, too much um, experience in um, musical collaboration in terms of composition. So, um, but I think definitely performance aspect, I do prefer working like with other people just because I don't know. First of all, like just like sonically, it's a lot more dynamic and more diverse, but there's something about playing music with someone instead of just yourself yeah have you performed live in other spaces other than church um yeah but it was mostly like solo i think the only like kind of band um i've had was like a worship band Mm -hmm. um yeah where have you played like performance um there there used to be this um student organization and on campus called like coffee house mm-hmm. and i would perform like originals there um yeah i mean and there's like a couple of open mics um at the music library that i performed that yeah yeah did you enjoy those types of experiences do you like not really no because <laughs> um, usually you know i get super nervous yeah um and I don't know, I and I don't necessarily think my songs are like super accessible. Um, in terms of I think maybe melody wise, it's not like hyper pop. Mm-hmm. Um, so I know that like most people, at least um when they initially hear it, there there's not like they're gonna be like super hooked by it. Mm-hmm. I think it's more um if people focus on the lyrics and you know, listen to the melody a couple of times, maybe they'll start to like it. So I think. That and also, I'll just having a bunch of people look at me, and I'm the only one making sound. <laughs> also, nerve-wracking. nerve-wracking. Yeah. Yeah. Could you talk a little bit more about the content of your songwriting, kind of mm-hmm. what it's about, with the where those influences are coming from? Yeah. Um. I would say, um, big picture wise, um, most of my lyrics are like faith based. Um. And that's just, I guess, like the worldview I have of me, you know, believing in a creator um, who, you know, created uh, me and like the world around me and myself kind of exercising the same creativity and, um, you know, creating things. Um, And so even though, you know, some of my lyrics, you know, there are definitely um, explicitly worship song but other songs are more just based on my life and my journey of faith and me kind of experiencing the human experience yeah <laughs> living the human experience mm-hmm. um, and sharing stories I feel like that's all forms of worship yeah yeah definitely do you find yourself listening to a lot of worship music is that's the kind of writing or you listen to other kind of music yeah initially I think because I was a worship leader I I like explicitly only listen to um, CCM, um, but I think musically I kind of, um, I would say like matured 
not saying you know uh, like more simpler chord progressions isn't bad i think it has its own purpose but i think um at least for me i wanted to know you know all different types of music con con concepts because i feel like you know, every song comes the same um at least when i only listen to ccm so um i started listening to beatles in college um and then i've been more experimenting with um indie folk and different singer songwriters um yeah awesome so in a post-college graduation mm. sphere what does what is music looking like for you there yeah so this is a question i you know wandered through in college of this you know music's my passion but um i also you know live with a single mom who is financially struggling um and so i'm also a cs major um so i gone through college kind of trying to decide what I wanted to do um and I've kind of landed in the middle of where um I'm gonna find like a financially stable job and but also do music off like my time at work and if music gets you know big enough uh to support myself and my family I think yeah I would rather do I'd rather be you know making music than coding so yeah absolutely yeah. Um, and kind of bringing this back full circle, mm -hmm. um, I know you said when you were a kid, you were kind of forced into the music and it kind of pushed you away. Yeah. If someday you're in the <laughs> realm of having a family of your own, mm -hmm. what's kind of that approach you would take with your family? Like, would you, yeah. kind of, after being through that experience, what, mm -hmm. what would you, what would you do? Yeah. Um, I, I don't think I would force any lessons on my children. It's, I would be more. I think intention about what type of music, I guess like the variety of music they would listen to, um, because I want them um to be able to digest all different forms of music, um, instead of just what's popular. Um but yeah. Great. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Right, thank you.